Hello, and welcome back to the Ashlands. Today we'll be taking a look at the goodest boy in Valheim's new biome, the Asksvin. Asksvin? Asksvin. Well, I can't pronounce it, but I can analyze it. This creature weighs in at 800 health and has a stagger limit of 0.3, the exact same stats as a Fueling Berserker. The stagger limit means it won't be too hard to stagger, unlike some of the other enemies you might encounter. However, it can be starred, so I'd still watch out. This lizard dog is immune to spirit damage and resistant to both fire and poison. It has three attacks, a bite dealing 75 damage of both the blunt and slash varieties, a headbutt, which does 120 blunt damage, and a pounce attack, which takes a while to charge, but when it lands it deals 150 blunt damage. Due to all the blunt damage, the most protective sets are the heavy sets. However, I tend to prefer the medium or ranger sets to avoid the speed debuff and thus some of the attacks. The magic sets are also obviously viable options if that's the route you're going for. If you want to kill this little guy instead of riding it, you're a monster. And your best melee weapons when starting off are the Krom for its damage, or the Frostner and Mistwalker for their frost effects. Later on, the Mistwalker remains an extremely viable option while the Stormstar and Scourging Slayers end up dealing the most damage. If you're a gambling man, the Primal Berserker Axes have a good shot at freezing the enemy, but you deal quite a bit less damage. The Frost Arrow is generally the best option for taking this thing down, however, you can trade that frost effect for a little bit of extra damage with the Charred Arrows later on. To complement the arrows, the best bow is the Spine Snap, which is later superseded by the Storm Fang. However, the Root Fang also has a chance to freeze the enemy, so it's your choice on whether or not to roll the dice. If you're a crossbow enthusiast, as always, grab a Storm Ripper. But when it comes to magic, it's a bit more subjective, so I'll leave that up to you. After you kill it, it has a 10% chance to drop a trophy. You will always drop one bladder, as well as 2-3 hide and 2-3 meat. You will also drop its saddle if it's wearing one. Now if you want the fastest mount in the game, you can tame this thing using the tried and true method of shoving it in a hole and throwing food at it until it loves you. Its foods of choice, unlike any women you may have tried this on, are smoke puffs, vine berries, and fiddlehead ferns. As a quick side note, if you plan to use these things as guard dogs, keep them in packs due to their slow attack speed. Also, riding them over lava lakes no longer hurts you, so you can treat this thing like a strider in Minecraft, which can be extremely useful when retrieving tombstones floating in the middle of the lava lakes. And with that, we've covered every aspect of the new Viking Subaru. If you found this video helpful, it would be greatly appreciated if you could hit the like and subscribe buttons, as it will help others to find this video. Happy gaming, and don't swim in the lava. Anyone else get the feeling that they've seen these things before? I just remembered where? Ancient China. Bet you didn't expect to see this movie again, did you? I know I sure didn't. Thanks for sticking to the end. Have a good one.